I'm Andy Hammond. I'm the technical director here at the University of Southern Indiana, and I'm here to talk to you about our scenic automation for Kate Hamill's Dracula. For this production of Kate Hamill's Dracula, we are incorporating stage automation from Creative Connors. Uh, what we are using is some air-powered cylinders to control some doors, as well as some winches that, we're, that will pull things around the stage to magically make them move without a backstage crew to be out there pushing them around and slowing down the scene changes. All right, so this is our automation control station for this production. Uh, first thing you will notice is our infrared camera here, which is very important for actor safety. This is how we view where the actors are on the stage and make sure that they are not standing in front of a big set of steps that's getting ready to plow them down as we move it. So once our actors are clear of where the scenery is going to move, then we can work over here with the control software that is networked to all of the automation so that it keeps track of where everything is and where it's going to move to. And then we can control it here to tell it where we want it to go to next. But then we are doing that in a way to make sure that we are not running over actors in the process. This is the cue list for Dracula. Uh, everything here is programmed and timed out so that uh, certain things will move as we are telling it to do so. So here, for instance, I can take the stage right track, and then it shows me that what's in red here is where it is, and the grayed out red is where it's going to move to. So now if I push my go button, that's going to start moving, and then I can see here on the screen what that item is doing as it's doing it, so then I can track everything that's happening. So, the one trick with these winches is you have to build up just the floor so that you are able to put a track into the floor. So, this is built up by just an inch and a half, just big enough for a two by four. But then that lets us put this track in the floor so that we can hide our cables and pulleys in the floor. So this is all you see coming up out of the floor when something is not on it. When we do want to put something on it, we have what we refer to as a knife that will insert through the scenery and it drops down into this piece in the floor and this piece is attached to the cable. So when we do want to move something, it's just moving this along. And then there's a set piece hanging onto this and that is drug along with it. I hope you enjoyed our quick little tour of some of the scenic elements from Dracula. Uh, if you would like to become a major, a minor, want to come see a show, or just want more information on our program, please check out USI Theater. Uh, and thanks for watching the video.